Welcome to Norway, the country famous for its fjords, northern lights, and midnight sun, but also known for a laboratory of over 400 kilometers in size, a laboratory called Oslo. That's right, Oslo. The whole capital is basically a gigantic proving ground for the energy transition and aims to become the world's first zero emission city by 2030. To achieve this, it's racing to electrify everything, as with this ferry in 2015. A vessel capable of carrying 360 passengers and 120 cars, now driven by two 500 kilowatt hour batteries. Charged at night like a mobile phone, but clearly the cables are slightly bigger. Four other electric ferry boats are now operating and there are a further 62 under construction. CO2 emissions on the routes using them have fallen by 96%. As well as electric ferries also has buses, metros and trains that are fully electric or in the process of becoming so. The initiatives go even further. Oslo has begun the electric transition of all transport vehicles and even heavy construction machinery. And then of course there are private vehicles. Here, the data is impressive. In November 2023, 90% of all car sales were pluggable electric or hybrids. Only 266 combustion engine cars were sold, seen here in small print in yellow and red. The plan is that in 2025, not one petrol or diesel car is sold. A 180 degree turnaround in the automobile sector accompanied by the rollout of a huge super rapid and rapid charging infrastructure throughout the city and the country with different types of subsidies, grants and fiscal incentives such as toll exemptions for those who drive electric vehicles. To supply this new system with electricity, Norway is committed overwhelmingly to generation using renewable energy sources. With its more than 1,000 fjords, Norway's hydroelectric power stations produce around 88% of all the country's energy. To this they add wind and solar, two sources on which they're increasingly reliant. So in total, 98% of the country's electricity system is powered from renewable energy sources. But the zero emission goal also involves transforming the environment so that it is cleaner. First, also has signed an agreement with the city of Rotterdam to create an ecological maritime transport corridor by 2025. This will see the commissioning of two short distance container ships, each powered by a 3.2 megawatt hydrogen battery. Each vessel will save up to 25,000 tons of CO2 per year, the same amount absorbed every year by a boreal forest. And then there is the long ship, a mega project for capturing and storing CO2 seen here. It captures the carbon dioxide generated by a cement plant situated on the outskirts of Oslo and sends it in liquid state to a terminal on the west coast of Norway, from where it is transported to an underwater storage facility 2,600 meters below the North Sea. As they well know in these parts, the road towards the energy and ecological transition is not just about generating megawatts, but also electrifying city life, creating green spaces, investing in innovation and the circular economy, and reducing as much as possible the impact of our activities on the planet.